Hello everyone, this is Just a Dead. Today I'm gonna to show you how to wash a lawnmower. So this may seem pretty simple, and it is relatively simple, but there's a few areas you do need to wash, uh, watch out for and not get water in. So I'm gonna kinda of show you those areas. First thing, make sure your, your engine's not super hot. If you just got done mowing, let it cool for a little while. Um, that way you're not spraying hot water on a really hot engine. So make sure it's nice and cool. I just use regular car soap in a bucket, something you'd wash your car with. Now you can use a pressure washer once in a while, but I found that just seems like a pressure washer takes labels off and stuff. So this works really well. Mowers get pretty dusty. So first start off, just let's point out a few areas. So don't get, don't spray water right here. Don't spray down anything kind of electronic. Um, you can spray it around here. The headlights are okay. Your muffler's down there, so it may, may um, steam up a little bit down there. Um, definitely not down the control area. Here's okay. The deck's okay. Underneath the seat, you know, here's okay. A light spring. You're not really going to get anything here. Let's open the engine compartment. So I do do a light spray right in here. It's not too bad. Down in here, um, I don't shoot it in there. That's where the spark plug is. I don't shoot it at an electrical co connection. Um, same with here, same with all these electrical connections. It is a good idea to blow your, your mower off. So before I, um, I should have said that at the beginning, before I washed it, I did blow it off with an air hose uh, really good. Or with like a blower, a leaf blower, that works really well too. Over on this side, yeah, we're gonna clean all this area. I don't, I don't, I don't shoot it right here, but I'm gonna wash this with a soap and rag. Don't shoot it right at the oil thing, but and don't direct it down there too much. Uh, up in here is fine. Back in here is a good area to get. Stuff kind of gathers up there. Kind of spray up underneath. Same with inside the wheels. I like to get up underneath here and kind of spray. Again, right up here, just kind of a light sprain. Underneath the seat. Over on this side, kind of the same thing, just kind of a quick spray. Nothing too directed right at it. Get the deck. I'm gonna do another video. I'm gonna show you if that. I don't ever use those things on the deck. You put your hose on here, but I'm gonna show you in my next video. Be careful of the LED lights up there. Um, just kind of lightly spray them. Inside of the wheels. So just get your soapy rag. Not, you don't need a ton of soap. You know, you're not gonna wipe off everything. Kind of stay away from the electrical connections again. Up in here, it does get a little dirty. There's where all the part numbers are for your mower. Same with around this side. Be careful, those labels come off really easy. Hey, it's a good idea to get this all nice and clean down in here. Be careful, don't turn that, that oil will come out. And there, that's good. We'll rinse the engine off now. 
All right, just repeat the same process, kind of a light spray, just kind of all over. You can spray the electrical connections, just do it lightly. You know. Same with over here. Just kind of keep the hose moving, you know, in the wheel wells. All right, we'll close the engine compartment now. So this part's probably the easiest, you know, just kind of treat it like a car. You're just gonna wash all over. Be careful, the muffler is down there. That can get really hot. Nothing to look out for there. Again, just rinsing this. Pretty simple, rinsing the hood is pretty simple. Okay, so again, we'll just kind of wash the back. I wouldn't get the rag around the battery connections at all. Up here, just kind of push the steering wheel. You know, you can stay away from there a little bit. Down here, this is just like a car down here. These are where the, there's lots of grease there. That's a grease circ, so be careful. Your rag will get really dirty around there. Again, just give it a quick rinse. I don't get too crazy about the deck down here, but you can rinse this off really good. Just a light spray around the switch and everything. Again, be careful around the electric or the uh, grease zerks there. Same with the battery. with the round of fuel thing get that a quick rinse and a wash again I don't get too crazy on the deck seems like the decks just get really dirty and they're hard to clean and the best way is just when you take it off because a lot of times you'll just soak up there's grass inside the deck on top of the deck and you just soak the grass Okay, so there you have it. It's a very simple, just stay away from a few areas, you know, mainly the electrical connections. Be careful of the muffler around the front end. You're gonna have some grease around the tires and it should start right up. So after I'm done, I do like to start it up, let it warm up really good. And uh, I like to uh, just turn the deck on, lower and raise it just to kind of get everything working again. And it kind of gets the water off of it. You can dry it off at this point if you want. But, uh, yeah, just run around the yard, make sure everything's working good, and, um, yeah, you should be good. Just run the blades for a while. That'll help kind of dry off the deck. Pretty simple video. Um, thanks, everybody, for watching. Again, check out, I'm going to do my another video on how to sharpen the blades, change the oil, change the water, or change the uh, air filter, and also this little, let's see if this little thing over here works. Garden hose attachment for the mower deck. Check out my next video. Thank you.